Foodie Films. There was a foodie who embarked on a foodie adventure. There were restaurants everywhere. Eat food. Great desserts. Amazing restaurants. All new in Nagoya, Japan, where food and love collided, and all her foodie dreams came true. This is the entryway into the restaurant. No. Shoes. So you have a bench and you slide your feet underneath the bench. And I'm in a little cage. Hello foodies. So I took a new route home. This cute Italian restaurant that I just could not pass up. So I just decided to stop in and have some food on the way home. Look how gorgeous it is. It's small and quaint. These are the bench seats. So actually I was standing outside just staring into the restaurant and the waiter came out to talk to me. Cause I was a little bit nervous. I wasn't sure if I wanted to come in. And he talked to me and told me you can help me with the menu because I was looking for English. So I'm so excited. And this is the size of the whole dining area behind me. So far, this is a beautiful, small, private restaurant it would be nice for a romantic date it has that feel and there is also a private room over here but it's it's really small I say it will seat about 10 people in here so it's really intimate The menu looks great. This is a really uh, economical restaurant. If you do not have expensive taste, no worry. But you have the expensive ambiance here and it's wonderful. And also, I saw, let me show you, because some people ask me about the honey cheese pizza in Japan. <laughs> They have, hold on, they have the honey cheese pizza. Here's a picture. The pizza and they're pouring the honey. So if you want to try the honey cheese pizza, you could come here also. But I'm not sure what it tastes like. Maybe I have to come back and try it. <laughs> Cheers to you, Kampai. And also, um, I did have to take off my shoes here, so some people don't like to take off their shoes. Not every restaurant in Japan makes you take off your shoes, but quite a few. So wear shoes that are easy to remove is a suggestion when dining here. 
Here's a quick peek at the food menu. Most of the items were ranging around $10 to $20 each. And my salad just arrived. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you. I'm so excited. This is gorgeous. Let me show you. This is a beautiful salad. Look at the bright color. It's so vibrant. And I have my dipping sauce that's heated by a candle. It says the dipping sauce is an Italian warm cream. That's what it says. Daikon. I know this one. I'm dipping a French red radish. vegetables are raw vegetables with the dipping sauce a nice fresh salad and it's beautiful like I said in Japan they really like to have the colors of life in their food so very wonderful Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. It looks so nice. And I am a seafood lover, so yay! This is the crab and cream spaghetti. And it comes with a dish to put the shells. And I have a hand towel. So I'm ready to try my crab. It's a beautiful dish. It does have the whole crab. So I know some people don't like to see the whole crab. And it also looks like it uh, has some meat in it. So first, the tatas. Ooh. Mm. Really nice. It's a uh, nice sweet tomato mixed with the crab. It's not spicy at all, but very flavorful. I taste basil and the tomato sauce. Not too salty. Delicious. I hope everyone did a lovely week today. It's Friday. Celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate your setbacks because your setbacks are a setup for a comeback. is the meat spaghetti with crab.
I am so pleased with this little hole in the wall, gorgeous restaurant. My meal was also delicious and this restaurant is called Quincy Central Italian Food and the total for the meal was under $40 USD. I quite recommend this restaurant. It's another cold day and I'm so excited. I just left the Italian restaurant, Quincy Central, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more. So like I said, I was uh, standing outside the window looking into the restaurant because it just looked so appealing to me. And I was just uh, deciding whether I wanted to go in or not because I do get a little anxious sometimes. Uh, Sometimes restaurants are not really welcoming to me. For example, a few times I've walked into a restaurant and the people said no. No English, no, 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 no. And they told me to leave the restaurant. So it makes me a little bit nervous to go to new restaurants sometimes. So I think the server saw me out there peering into the window trying to decide if I was brave enough to enter and so he opened the door and he greeted me and I said is it okay are you sure and he said no I can help you English a little I will help you so very nice experience and I'm just so happy about that I just decided to talk about it for a little bit And once again, if you like my channel and my foodie adventures, please push the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. This is Joe Nini and talk to you later. Ta-ta.